Now then, we've got a very special guest joining us on the show today. Uh, just introduce yourself to us, sir. Yeah, my name is Romeo Challenger. I'm the drummer from Shawadi Wadi. So, Romeo, great to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for taking the time out to talk to us. Yeah. Uh, so, are you, you're the original drummer from Shawadi Wadi, is that right? Yes, I am. I mean, we, we, we had two drummers initially. Um, it was Malcolm, Malcolm the Duke, but he left all 20 odd years ago, maybe 30 years ago. So long now, I can't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> and and what's it like still being part of Shiwadi Wadi 40 years later? Just still the same. I mean, obviously, um, some of the members have changed and all the rest of it. I mean, we only have two originals. But, I mean, generally, the, the vibe is just the same as, as when we started in 73. See? And the, the enthusiasm is still there. You know, we enjoy playing to the fans, the people who come to sort of uh, revisit their youth, so to speak. And obviously new people as well. And, and what was it like being part of, of Shawadi Wadi back in the 70s? Because you guys were massive, weren't you? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, we, we sold a lot. I mean, have a lot of records in those days. Yeah, it was a, a brilliant time. I mean, you know, it, it was a time where, you know, there, there were only like, I think, four TV stations. So, I mean, every time you appeared on TV, just about everybody who had a TV, you know, knew your face and all the rest of it. You know, so it was just massive things. But nowadays, it's not quite the same. I think, I think on, unless you were a massive superstar, a lot of a lot of bands and musicians can sort of walk away without not, not really being known. Now, you just mentioned there about, you know, modern singers and things like that. But uh, you had 23 top 40 singles, including uh, 10 top 5 hits. I mean, that is a massive achievement by anybody's standards. Well, it is. I mean, you know, we're, we're really proud of that record. And, and um, yeah, I mean, bands, some bands do achieve that today. But the thing is, they haven't got the sales to do it. You know, um, you know, you, I don't know how many records it takes to be in the top 10 um, these days, but I don't think it's that many. Because it was, it was a bit harder back uh, back in the 70s, wasn't it? Well, it was hard, it was great, but, but I mean, remember that, you know, every, any band who becomes professional and starts to their records, you're all, you're all in competition with everybody. I mean, at the time, we, you know, bands like um, Zeppelin, the Stones were selling records, you know, Genesis, yeah, everybody, or anybody, were there, all there, so it's, it was really, really competitive. Now, in 2004, the best of uh, Shawadi Wadi uh, album was remastered. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you're uh, going on tour as well this month. What's it like performing uh, today compared with 40 years ago? Well, well, the difference is um, the audiences have got older. I mean, I think what, what's happened, they've actually grown up with us, or grown old with us. But also, I mean, what, what, what um, we've noticed as well, um, they bring their children along with them as well sometimes. Maybe, maybe forcibly, who knows? But, you know, it, it, yeah, the audience tend to be obviously a lot older than all the rest of it. But they, you know, they are um, sort of um, patches of young, younger people um, turning up and all the rest of it. I mean, of course, I mean, you know, all those years ago, it was sort of mayhem, the gigs. You know, you couldn't really, you know, we just went on, played the hits and all the rest of it. It's not quite like that anymore. You know, um, those days you probably could get away with, you know, you know, not playing so great, all the rest of it. But with now, you know, you, for us, every gig has to be really good because, you know, this, the screaming's not, not there anymore. Or, and you have to sort of put the music out there. I mean, there's no hiding place at all. Uh, Romeo, we'll come back to you in just a moment. We're chatting to Romeo Challenger, the original drummer from Shawadi Wadi on the show this afternoon. We'll be back with uh, Romeo in just a few moments' time after this from Shawadi Wadi. It's Pretty Little Angel Eyes at Lakeland Radio. Pretty Little Angel Eyes. Pretty Little Angel Eyes. Pretty Little Angel Eyes.
little, little angel lie. Shawaddy waddy, pretty little angel eyes. It is Lakeland Radio, the sound of the Lake District, and we're chatting to the drummer from Shawaddy Waddy, uh, Romeo Challenger, on the show today. Now, you had uh, lots of lots of big hits uh, throughout the 70s. I mean, just to pick up on a couple of, of my favourites, I mean, I, I'm 27, and, 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 and I like Shawaddy Waddy. Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah it, 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 it's weird that you... Some people... The, the thing is, you've obviously rediscovered it from what? Top of the Pop still and stuff like that? Is that how you all... Just the fact that you're in the business and you, it, it's what you know anyway. No, I, th- I think to some extent, uh, my mum, uh, my, oh, right. m- my okay. mum came to see you. You know, you know, back in the seventies and eighties. Yeah. In fact, my, you, you all know this, but my mum actually used to work on lighting for some of your shows um, oh, right. when you were in like Morecambe and that kind of area. All oh, right, okay. Um, so I, I kind of, you know, she used to listen to Shawadi Wadi, and I kind of grew up listening to, to to some of her tapes as they were then. Yeah, the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and, and then the fact that I work in radio, um, and you do see you guys on top of the pops too, still, uh, and obviously you, you know you're still going on tour. Mm. I mean, a couple of my favourites are things like Under the Moon of Love and, and Dancing Party. Yeah, they're still big favourites, and but I mean, you know, they'll always they'll always play that in the shows. You know, but now, as you say, that's another favourite one. Um, two songs of all the other, you know, all the other sort of stuff we do. There, there's sort of one of. The, well, and you've got what it takes as well. It's quite a favourite as well. And just just looking at the sort of catalogue of Shawadi Wadi, do you have a personal favourite? Well, yeah. Well, you've got what it takes. I mean, from a drummer's point of view, it's just, it's not. I mean, it's a great song anyway. But you know, it's a win-win situation for everybody because uh, you know it's great. It's a great song to sing, and as an instrumentalist, um, i.e., drum, um, it's great to play. Well, you're coming to Cumbria Friday the 18th of October. You're at the Sand Centre in we, Carlisle. Yes, we, we played that year before oh, oh, many years ago. I remember right. It was a great place to play. And anybody coming along on Friday night to, to the gig, you know, what can they expect? They, well, I tell you what they can expect. They can expect the Shimori Wadi that, you know, everybody would, you know, knows. They're going to be playing all the songs, you know, all the top 20 hits and all the rest of it. Um, album, Some album tracks, uh, Night of Fun, Night of Hits, Nostalgia. Brilliant. Romeo, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs> 